Hi everyone, in this video we will talk about the precision recall trade-off. To understand this trade-off, let's look at how the SGD classifier makes its classification decision. For each instance, it computes a score based on a decision function, and if that score is greater than a threshold, it assigns the instance to the positive class, or else it assigns it to the negative class. As I shown here, digits positioned from the lowest score on the left to the highest score on the right. Suppose the decision threshold is positioned at the central row between the two fives. You will find four true positive actual fives on the right of that threshold and one false positive actually a six. Therefore, with that threshold, the precision is 80%, four out of five, but out of six, actual fives the classifier will only detect four so the recall is 67 percent four out of five now if you raise the threshold move it to the arrow on the right the false positive the six becomes a true negative thereby increasing precision up to 100 in this case but one true positives becomes a false negative decreasing recall down to 50% conversely lowering the threshold increases recall and reduces precision. Scikit-learn doesn't let you set the threshold directly but it does give you access to the decision scores that it uses to make predictions. Instead of calling the classifier predict method, you can call its decision function method, which returns a score for each instance and then make predictions based on those scores using any threshold you want. Let's go to Jupyter Notebook. Y scores variable equal to SGD classifier object dot decision function of some digits. Y scores the result equal to 150,526. Threshold variable equal to zero. Y sum digit prediction equal to Y scores greater than threshold. Y sum digit predictions equal to true. The SGD classifier uses a threshold equal to zero, so the previous code returns the same result as the predict method. True, let's raise the threshold. Threshold equal to 200,000. Sum, Y sum digit prediction equal to Y scores greater than threshold. Y sum digit predict equal to false. This confirms that raising the threshold decreases recall. The image actually represents a 5, and the classifier detects it when the threshold is 0, but it misses it when the threshold is increased to 200,000. So, how can you decide which threshold to use? For this, you will first need to get the scores of all instances in the training set using cross-validation predict function again, but this time specifying that you want it to return decision scores instead of predictions. Y scores equal to cross-validation predict, SGD classifier, object, comma, X train, comma, Y train 5, comma, threefold, comma, method equal to decision function. Now, with these scores, you can compute precision and recall for all possible thresholds using the precision recall curve function. From scikit-learn.metrics, import precision recall curve. Precisions variable, comma, recall variable, comma, thresholds variable equal to precision recall curve between parentheses y train 5 comma y scores finally you can plot a precision recall as a function of the threshold value using matplot library definition plot a precision recall vs threshold 
function with precision recall thresholds parameter plt dot plot thresholds comma precision comma b slash b dash dash comma label equal to precision y uh, or uh, line width equal to 2 plt dot plot thresholds recall g dash comma label recall comma line width equal to 2 prt dot x label thresholds font size equal to 16 prt dot legend location equal to lower left comma font size equal to 16 prt dot y limit limit open two parentheses 0 to 1 prt dot figure open two parentheses figure size equal to 8 comma 4 plot precision recall vs threshold function precisions recalls thresholds parameter prt dot x limit from minus 700,000 to 700,000 save figure function precisions recall vs threshold plot prt dot show you may wonder why the precision curve is bumpier than the recall curve the reason is that precision may sometimes go down when you raise the threshold also in general it will go up to understand why notice what happens when you start from the central threshold and move it just one digit to the right precision goes from 4 divided by 5 or 80 percent down to 3 divided by 4 or 75 percent on the other hand recall can only go down when the threshold is increased which explains why its curve lo looks smooth now you can simply select the threshold value that gives you the best precision recall trade off for your task another way to select a good precision recall trade off is to plot the precision directly against recall definition plot precision vs recall function precision parameter comma recall parameter plt dot plot recall comma precision comma b dash comma line width equal to 2 plt dot x label recall font size equal to 16 plt dot y label precision font size equal to 16 plt dot x is 0 comma 1 0 comma 1 plt dot figure figure size 8 comma 6 plt precision vs recall function precisions recall parameters save figure precisions vs recall plot plt dot show this figure represents precision vs recall you can see that precision really starts to fall sharply around 80% recall. You will find you probably want to select a precision recall trade off just before that drop, for example, at around 60% recall. But of course, the choice depends on your project. So, let's suppose you decide to aim for 90% precision. You look up the first plot zooming in a bit and that you need to use threshold of about 70,000 to make predictions on the training set for now and instead of calling the classifiers predict method you can just run this code why train prediction 90% equal to Y scores greater than 70,000. Precision score, open parenthesis, Y train 5, comma, Y train prediction 
90%. The result equal to 0.87%. And the recall score, open parenthesis, y train 5, comma y train projection 90%, equal to 0 0.64. Great. You have a 90% precision classifier or close enough. As you can see, it's fairly easy to create a classifier with virtually any precision you want. Just set a high enough threshold and you are done. But not so fast. A high precision classifier is not very useful if its recall is too low. If someone says, let's reach 99% precision, you should ask at what recall. Thanks for watching.